would, uh, turn your Bibles to the book of Matthew in the 16th chapter, verse 1. Uh, we would like to read some to you this morning and maybe have a, a few words uh, of the times and the signs. And uh, we, we have asked the Lord to use us and uh, as we try to teach this, it's been a blessing for me this week as I tried to uh, study it. And uh, there's so many things that comes to your mind when you're trying to study this. And you say, well, I, that would be a blessing if I could just remember it. But uh, it might not be. And so what the Lord lets me uh, say, uh, that's what I'll say. Amen. And uh, I was thinking this, uh, this morning, you know, <clears throat> He can use me. Because I, I'm willing to be used, right. and uh, uh, a good a good piece of equipment, if you can get a good piece of equipment, uh, it runs smooth. You enjoy uh, using it, and I hope that I can be a joy this morning to the Lord and uh, be used of Him this morning. All right, in but in uh, verse one of chapter sixteen <clears throat> of the book of Matthew. The Pharisees also, which with the Sadducees came and tempted, desiring him that he would show them a sign from heaven. And you know, this is the this is the world today. Mm -hmm. They're always looking for some kind of a sign. They're always making some kind of a statement about how the world begins and how it's going to end and this and that. But these Pharisees and Sadducees, they ask him about a sign. And Jesus answered and said, He answered and said unto them, When it is evening, you say it will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And, and, and you know, I've, I've thought about this a lot of times. I, I can remember uh, back when I was smaller that some of the older people would, they would, you know, I see them look out there and they said, It's going to be a pretty day tomorrow. And uh, here Jesus is using the same thing. But he also said here, and in the morning, it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and lowering or cloudy. O ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky, but ye cannot discern the signs of the time. So Amen. by him saying this to the, the, the Sadducees there and the Pharisees, it's very important for the Christian to discern the signs of the time. Right. Because it's, you know, it can't, it can't, I mean, he can't get no farther away from us. It's going to get closer and closer all the time. And, and if we can, if we can just, if we can just open our eyes and see what is going on in this world, uh, it should encourage our hearts. It should uh, help us to uh, draw closer to the Lord. And uh, you know, even even as I was thinking this morning, uh, we have a, a, a birth is going to be expected before long here at the church. Right. And you can you know you can tell that the time is getting closer and closer, and everybody's getting excited. Well, it should be that way uh, with the Lord Jesus Christ coming, and uh, we should all be excited and more cheerful about the thing and ready to come to church and to sing songs of praise to Him and to uh, read His Word and study His Word and just stay as close as we can to Him because the time is very important that we do these things and the closer that we can be to the Lord, the quicker that we are, the better that we will be when He comes and the and calls us. So He said here these things, He called them a wicked and adulterous, Generation seeking after a sign, and uh, you know we don't need to uh, uh, rely too much on all of these things. But listen, he called them that, and he says, "And there shall be no sign given unto you, unto it, but the sign of the prophet Jonah." And he left them and departed. Now I would like to say this morning that we had a wonderful class Wednesday night with the Jonah and. Uh, uh, as I was reading this, I said, "My goodness, that's that's that was that made it that better." But anyway, we had a wonderful class, and I appreciated the, the class, the the teaching. It was a, it was a blessing to me. But here, he's talking about 
the the Jonah the, of him going down into the into the sea and being swallowed and then up and, uh, and he's comparing that to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ and him coming back and so this is the sign that he's referring them to but he says here and when his disciples will come to the other side they had forgotten to take bread then Jesus said unto them take heed and beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees well again we see here he, even his, his disciples are, are not understanding what he is speaking about. Right. And we need to, we need to this morning, uh, we need to, when we're, we're studying this, we need to take every word and digest it and digest it and, and make sure that we know what he's saying because, listen, there is there is so many there are so many messages in a in one chapter and and a lot of times it's a hidden mystery and and so many times you've read it time and time again and then you you hear someone get on this uh, a preacher or a teacher and say something and man it's just like putting a match in gasoline you just why didn't I never understand it? why right. didn't I understand it well here he's saying here uh, in this he says. Uh, when the disciples will come to the other, and then Jesus said unto them, Take heed and beware of the leavening of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees. And they reasoned among themselves, saying, It is because we have taken no bread. So they were completely, they were completely off of what he was talking about. And so in this, he referred, he told them, to, you know, he made, made mention of and said, Don't you remember the time that all the the multitude was there on the mountain, and and, uh, and uh, there was nothing, to, nothing but uh, a few pieces of bread and a and a fish or two, and how we we uh, made out with that, and everybody. Ate. And of course, uh, they understood then what he was talking about of the leaven and or the sins. But now we want to get on just a little bit more, and 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 I want you to turn with me if you would to Romans, the thirteenth chapter, and we'll. Try to read a little bit there. Romans 13, 12, I believe it is. Alright, we can get this there. Y'all can have it all read and I'll get there. Alright, in chapter 13, verse 12, notice here what he says. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Not in, uh, the 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 night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Amen. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and in wantonness, not in strife and envy, but put ye on. The Lord Jesus Christ, and make not provisions for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. And so, these are these are some of the, the things about the the times, the uh, uh, times and the seasons, and all this. Listen, this is this is a uh, 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 the night is far spent. He's talking about there in Romans there, because he says the saved are waiting for light. And you think about the same waiting for light, and you, you picture the sun coming up. Well, it, you notice it's, it's like this redness that you see before the sun comes up. They're, they're waiting for it. Mm -hmm. And listen, we, as God's people, should be waiting for the S-O-N sun. Amen. We should be waiting there, and we, we ought to be able to see that glow we ought to be able to see and understand right. that, listen, it's right right down under the, the thing and it's fixing to come up. And listen, we should be ready, people. Uh, and and there's, so, there's so many people that, that just, like the Pharisees and the Sadducees and all that, they just pass it on and there's, they're, they don't, they're not considering anything. And so, again, I, I have several things I want you to read here, but I, 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 want, to, I want to read in Ephesians. Ephesians 5. Uh, 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 Ephesians 
Ephesians 5, let me, let me look at verse 13. And we'll, uh, I'm sorry to take so much time, but anything. But in Ephesians 5 and verse 13, <clears throat> it says, But all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. For whatsoever doth make manifest is light. Amen. Wherefore, he said, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. And he's, he's, he's arise from the dead. He's not talking about coming out of the grave. He's talking about being saved. Mm -hmm. And listen, he says he'll give you that light. And this light is what gives you understanding about the times and about the, the seasons and all this. And so this is what he's saying here, redeeming the time because the days are evil. And this redeeming, redeeming the times, it's a time to use the, to use what you've got. It's, it's a time that you should put aside all of these other things. And, and redeeming means to redeem. It means to uh, use or to choose. But you need to re redeem the times. You need to use these times that we have to study your word. Amen. To... Uh, uh, pray and to fast and all of these things we need to do these things Amen. because we slip we skip we slip and, and, and we we stagger around and, and oh I, I didn't I didn't get to do that. I didn't get to do that. Listen, we need to, we need to take time to do these things and put worldly things or and, and a lot of times uh, it ain't worldly things that gets in our way. It's it's things that we we need to do. We think we need to do. Well, we need to do these things. But listen, we need to put God's word first and God Himself first because uh, the times the times are at hand when uh, one day <clears throat> we'll hear come up hither. Right. We're going to hear it, or I, I know we'll hear it. And uh, because God's word says we'll hear it, even if we're alive or if we're in the grave, we're going to hear it. And so we need to be ready and, and waiting for Him and redeeming the time because uh, <clears throat> from you know from all things, I know it's closer than it ever has been because uh, it is. And so here again, we want I want to read just a little bit more to you in this. Uh, he says. See, in verse 15, he says, See then that you walk circumspectly or cautiously, not as fools, but wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Wherefore, he, wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. And so when you redeem the times, when you study God's Word, then he says here, you will know what the will of God is. And the, the will of God is that you that you study to show yourself approved. Amen. And you keep your mind focused on, on the Lord Jesus Christ and let the world slide by you because that's the main thing for Christians and that's the only way that they can get any any kind of power or anything is to is to concentrate upon the Lord Jesus Christ because you know you might want to pray for somebody that's sick you might want to pray for somebody to be saved you might want to do this or you might want to do that that you would like to see and this is the way that you get these things done is to uh, keep your eye on the Lord now he says here and be not drunk in verse 18 with wine for in his excess but filled filled with the spirit Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in, in your heart to the Lord, Amen. giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, do we do these things like we should do these things? And I can say to myself, no, I don't do these things like I should do. And listen, I get so disgusted sometimes with myself when I, I let things slide by me and I say, Lord, you know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I try to, you know, uh, even, even when I eat something, uh, if I'm not careful, sometimes I'll get in a big hurry. And listen, I don't even thank you for it. 
Mm-hmm. And I try my best to, right. to do these things. I, and I try to study my, the Bible. And I'm not saying, hey, I'm doing all this to get past. I, 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 I want to do it because I love the Lord. Man. And I want to be ready when He comes. And when I hear that, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm set on go. I'm ready to go. And that's, that's the only way this morning I believe that we can do that is to... Uh, Pay attention to the times and the signs. So here again, he says here in verse 20, submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God. So these are some of the things that we need to try to uh, try to do. Now I want to. I got another uh, uh, thing or two here. I want to read to you before I before I get through. If I can get back to my notes in Colossians. I believe it is Colossians. 4, yeah, Colossians 4 and verse 3. Colossians 4 and verse 3. Alright, he says here, For this is the will of God, even your sanctification, that ye should abstain from fornication, that every one of you should know how to possess his vessel. And these are things, people, these are things that that the you, you, we need to be reminded of because, listen, uh, we don't want to get caught unaware. And uh, you get caught up in some of these things, and listen, it's hard to get away from. But here he says, this is... For this is the will of God, even your sanctification, that you should abstain from fornication, that every one of you should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and honor, not in the lust of concupiscence, even as the Gentiles which know not God, that no man go beyond and defraud his brother in any manner, Amen. because that the Lord is the avenger of all such as we also have forewarned you and testified. For God hath not called us unto uncleanness, but unto holiness. And so again, this puts us, this shows us where that we need to be. We don't need to be in this uncleanliness spot waiting. Because listen, that's that will be that will be something that you'll have to give them an account for that is is not pleasing to God. And but we need to be uh, in this place where that we're ready to go and to uh, hear him, hear, hear him say, "Come up here." Therefore, and see here. Let me get, let me get back to my lesson down here. Four. Hmm. Okay, bear with me just a minute. Colossians four. I'll get, I'll get to you. For God has not. We read this again. For God has not called us unto uncleanliness, but unto holiness. He therefore that despises, despises not man, but God, who hath also given us His Holy Spirit. So this place here of uncleanliness, and He has called us unto holiness. And we are in a, in a spot of uncleanliness. And we know this morning, if we're in that condition in which we we have this flesh to contend with. We're going to, you know, we're 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 in danger of being in this uncleanliness spot. He says here, to to, oh, I cannot. For God hath not called us unto uncleanliness, but unto holiness. He therefore that despises despises not man, but God, who hath also given unto us His Holy Spirit. Amen. But as touching brotherly love, you need not that I write unto you, for yourselves are taught of God to love one another. And indeed, you do it toward all the brethren which are in Macedonia. But we beseech you, brethren, that you increase the more and the more. And of course, uh, that should be our desire this morning is to increase the more and the more and to be on fire for the Lord, that we should be waiting, we should be on, we should be there all the time waiting to hear that cry come up here. Amen. And so here again, this is some of the things that I wanted you to, to uh, read. And then in 2 Timothy, we'll get to that, and, and uh, talks about the perilous times. 2 Timothy. 
3, 1. 2 Timothy 3 and verse 1. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. Amen. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. Now these things that I'm reading to you this morning, he says, there will be in the last days. Well, people, if it, it gets any laster, I don't know uh, what's going to happen. Right. We're there. We're there. Now you notice this, for men shall be lovers of their own selves. Right. Covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unflankable, unholy, without natural affection, right. incontinent. And I got to look into it, I said, there, there's something different, incontinent. Well, we know what it means. You ain't got no control over your body. Right. And listen, people, that's, that's one of the things this morning that is going on in this world. Nobody has got no control over themselves. They're just going headlong into everything. They, they don't have no... And, and I know this in common means uh, other things, but listen, it means this if you've lost control of your body. Amen. And when you lose control of this body, then this spirit cannot... It cannot perform. When you let this body overrule that spirit then, hey, uh, if that spirit is saved, listen, that spirit is sick. And uh, it, it's not pleasing to God. And, and you know, uh, you can't see the sun come up. You can't, you can't expect to see uh, the, the, the glorious S-O-N sun come, uh, coming back. Amen. These, these are things that, that hinders us. And, and he, he, he's all of these things that natural affection, my Lord, it's, it's running rampant. Uh, you know, uh, uh, you just look at truce breakers, false accusers. Hey, if you if you if you don't realize if you don't realize how false accusers it is, turn your television on. They might. Turn it to Fox News and listen to what they're saying. They've got more lies than the dog has fleas, and 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 it's it's always they're lambasting one another, uh, and 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 it's the same way uh, in the Christian realm. Uh, people are people are just they just quit trying to 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 do what the Lord says, and they, and they, and they just they're just going their own way. Here, treated, headed, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God, and I guarantee you. You know that this morning when people, when a hundred thousand people will go to watch them kick a little football around or, or throw a baseball around or or something like that, and you you, you can't get them in church. Right. They they, they 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 love all these things. Now he says here in verse five, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, and so that is that is one of the things he says this know also in the last days so we need to we need to open our eyes a little bit wider and say hey we're there mm -hmm. we're there we're there and any day any day with these things going on like this any day it could be that the Lord is going to come back but we need to be we need to be ready and set no goal and uh, here he says this having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. We need to get away from it. We need to. We need to Amen. set aside. For of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead city captive, city women laden with sin, led away with divers lust, and ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Now again. One more thing I want to write, I want to show you in James's James's Gospel, and uh, then we'll, we'll try to get through. James three. I want you to see something here. But my brethren, be not many masters, knowing that we shall receive the greater condemnation. For in many things we offend all. If any man offend not in word. The same is a perfect man and able also to bridle the whole body. Amen. But we put bits in the horse's mouth that they may obey us, and we turn about their whole body. 
Behold also the ships which, though they be so great and are driven of fierce winds, yet are they turned about with a very small helm. Whithersoever the governor listens, even so, even so, the tongue is a little member and boasteth great things. Behold how great a master a little far kindleth. Right. And the tongue is a fire <coughs> of a, a fire, a world of iniquity. So is the tongue among our members that it defiles the whole body and sets on fire the course of nature. And it is set on fire of hell. And and these are some of the things again we we need to watch and 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 and, 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 and understand that it's high time that we try more so to control our tongues. And if we use our tongues, let us use them for the Lord. Amen. Let us be a witness for Him. Let us sing praise to Him. Let us read God's Word and let us say things that is pleasing to God and not hypocrisy things. But listen, let us let us be in the in the will of the Lord and try to say some of the things that we feel in our hearts and that the Holy Spirit deals with us and says for us to do these things. It's time for us to do these things. And uh, this is these, these this is just this is just a small portion of what of, of what the Bible says about the, the times and all this, but I would that we we think about these things during our week. And uh, when you when you get up of a morning, remember who watched over you during the night. Amen. Remember who protected you over the night. Pray, Father, uh, and thank the Father for these things because uh, He's the one. He wants to hear it. Amen. And use these tongues to use these tongues to to communicate with the Father. And, and I, I, I'll tell you what, you'll get a lot closer to the Lord. Amen. And uh, you know this morning that uh, we need to get closer to the Lord. And, uh, and these things that I'm, I'm redeeming the times, uh, you need to, you know, we need to uh, we need to use the, the time that we have to uh, serve the Lord. With. And so it's been a lot of reading. Uh, it's been a lot of things that I tried to say, and, and I, I didn't get them out like I should. But but anyway, I think I think that that the things that I've said in here and the, and the words that I've read this morning. It should give us give us a desire, a greater desire, to be closer to the Lord and uh, and realize some of our our downfalls mm -hmm. because we we're just in the flesh. But listen, we've got a spirit in here, and we've got to add the Holy Spirit. It speaks to our hearts, and a lot of times, listen. No, that ain't right. No, that ain't right. And the Holy Spirit speaking to your heart and telling you, you said, no, no, that, I don't believe that's right. But listen, you need to listen to that Holy Spirit this Amen. morning. If you, if you believe that you're saved, He is your comforter. He is your guide. And listen, you need to listen to Him. And you try that Spirit. You mm -hmm. The Bible tells us, you try that Spirit. You you do what that, that, that Spirit asks you to do, and you'll see that it'll make you stronger, and you'll have a greater desire to do it again and again and to, to, to horror that you'll get to hell. Hey, that's what you want to do. That's what I want to do. Amen. And do it. I mean, that's it. Uh, and, and you'll be a... You'll, You'll just be a, a better Christian. You'll be Amen. a more comfortable Christian. You'll be one that ain't walking around. I don't know. I don't know. Listen, it's all in God's hands. Amen. If you start using, if you start, if you start obeying that Spirit that's within you, and He speaks to you, if you're, if He's not speaking to you, then listen, you've not got what I've got. And I, and I know what I've got. I've got salvation. Amen. I know I've been saved. And, and I know that He speaks to my soul. And he, and he tells me things. And He talks to me. And listen, I try to listen. I do. I try to listen. And even, even in, 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 in study for a lesson, you know, I told myself, hey, I can't do it. Right. I can't do it. I just, I, I just don't, I, I'm just not getting there. I said, you just use me. Whatever, whatever, I, whatever I read, I know that's true. 
whatever I say, I want you to take it and I want you to use it for your honor and for your glory. Amen. That's all I can do. I'm, I'm just being used, and that's all I can do. And it's the same way with Brother Larry, it's the same thing with Brother Adam. It's the same way with anybody. If you if you if you have that desire to be used to the Lord, He'll yeah. use you. Amen. And listen, you may go around and go backwards and, and say, you know, well, I didn't I didn't but listen. God has got everything in his hands. Amen. He can use it. He can point it out. He can he, he's got a place for it. If he didn't, he wouldn't make sense. Thank you all so much for listening to the stumbling around. Uh, I pray that uh, every one of you will have a blessed week coming and uh, remember to pray for one of you. Amen.